All right, Minecrafters, welcome to this Minecraft video here on the channel. This is going to be another Minecraft command block tutorial video. And I've got something pretty cool to show you. It's like a little trick, a little tip, I guess, when it comes to command blocks. And I'm going to be showing you another kind of detector that I normally show in these videos here. But this one involves two different blocks. So I have two areas or two placement areas for two blocks. And this detector right here activates, as you can see with a redstone lamp, a lit redstone lamp, if the two blocks are identical to each other. So this detector activates if two blocks are exactly the same, okay? And that is basically what I'm going to be showing you in this video here. And it works in all kinds of different cases. So it actually works if there are no blocks there at all, because technically there are two air blocks in these two positions here, and it only activates when both blocks are actually the same. Now, this actually goes quite complicated because you can even do it with stuff like rails, as you can see. But if you use a different rail, it will not activate. It also works with stuff like uh, copper bulbs and stuff like that. As you can see, it only works if both of them are the same. But interestingly, it also does not work if the state is different as well. So you can see here that this bulb is on and this one is off. So the detector is not activated, but only when both of them are actually off does the detector actually activate and it goes further even still so if you have a chest for example you can see two empty chests will make the detector activate but if i put an item inside of here the detector actually turns off because these chests are no longer the same okay so basically it is checking the entire contents of the chest and the data inside so basically this detector also detects like components on the block the the actual data tags and the data and all that sort of thing so it's actually quite powerful using this sort of thing here so basically how this works here is um, this detector is using two command blocks only. So we have a repeating command block and a chain command block, and they both flow into each other, and they are always active so that they can run without any redstone whatsoever. And basically how this works is that the detector is able to reset itself by placing an air block above this command block here. And then this command block, places a lamp when a condition is actually met and essentially that allows it to be dynamic in how it actually changes depending on what is happening in the minecraft world itself okay and that is pretty much it and it's pretty straightforward this should work for minecraft 1.21.3 and above on the java edition only and we are actually using a execute if blocks command to get this to work with this detector here. And what we're essentially doing is we are taking one source block, which happens to be this one here. And then we are essentially checking if this block is the same. OK, and so we have a source block, which is this one. And the destination is this block right here with the logic. So. I'm now going to show the commands in a text editor so you can see them in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here, and I would urge you to watch this part of the video so you get to learn how the commands are actually allowing this detector to work. The commands will be in the description of the video, so you can copy and paste them into your Minecraft and have a look for yourself. But uh, the first command right here, is what is used to reset the detector. So just setting a block above the detector to air. So that is the repeating command block. And then the chain command block is the second command, which does the, which does the actual magic to cause this detector to work, okay? So we're doing an execute if blocks command here. 
and you have to provide it three sets of coordinates. Okay, so the first two coordinates are essentially the region that we are targeting. Now, because we're only looking at one particular block in this case, then these two coordinates are exactly the same. So you need to find out the block coordinate of the source you want to check. So the source block you want to check, you find out the block coordinate and then you place it in here twice. Because essentially what we're saying here is that we are checking a source region in the world thus one block in size, okay? And then the third one right here, the third coordinate, is the actual block coordinate we are checking. So this is the one we are checking so that we can get this to work. So you can see here, this one is two blocks away from these ones right here, which is what we were using in the Minecraft world you just saw. And we are using setting all so that we are checking all block and like everything block related when we're doing the check and we do run and then a set block command which sets a lit redstone lamp on the detector and obviously these use relative coordinates in these commands which are correct for me for my particular detector but you may have to tweak those depending on what you're actually doing so hopefully this helps you out and this could be useful in certain creative projects or custom maps or whatever it happens to be so Hopefully this helps you out. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this video right here. If this did help you out and you want to support the channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated. And make sure to hit the bell so you are notified of new videos here on the channel. My socials are on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. But because uh, I hope to do another tutorial maybe where we check like bigger regions and see if they are the same rather than one block in this case. So I may do that in a future tutorial. But anyway, stay happy and healthy, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.